येणार आहे उद्या विधानसभेत पुरेस यश मिळवण्याजोग काम सरकार होत नसल्यामुळे राजीनाम्यातील पहिलं कारण आहे जनतेची जी काम आहेत त्या कामासंबंधीचे निर्णय त्वरित होत नाहीत निर्णय झाले तरी अंमलबजावणी वेळीच होत नाही कार्यपद्धतीमधले काही दोष असल्यामुळे आणि प्रशासनावर योग्य अंकुश नसल्यामुळे गतिमान रीतीने प्रशासन चालायला हवं ते चालताना दिसत नाही याचा परिणाम जनतेच्या कामावर होतोय ही जनतेने नाराजी लोकसभेला दाखवली आणि म्हणून त्यावर उपाय करत असताना कुठेही दिसत नाही भ्रष्टाचार रोखायला प्रयत्न कोणत्याही पातळीवर होत असताना दिसत नाही तर दुसऱ्या बाजूला शासनातील अधिकारी काम टाळतायत काम करत नाही आहेत आणि जनतेला न्याय मिळत नाही हे मुद्दे मी त्यात घातलेले आहेत अनेक विभागाचे अनेक निर्णय घेऊन दोन वर्ष तीन वर्ष झाली त्यांची अंमलबजावणी झालेली नाही लाभार्थींना त्याचा फायदा मिळाला नाही हे निर्णय त्वरित अंमलात यायला पाहिजे होते ते आलेले नाही हाही मुद्दा त्यामध्ये मी नोंदवला आहे एकंदरीत सरकार म्हणून ज्या प्रकारे हाताळलं गेलं पाहिजे सरकार आणि पक्ष समन्वय साधला गेला पाहिजे तो दिसत नाही आणि त्यामुळे विधानसभेचे निवडणुकीचं भवितव्य मला योग्य दिसत नसल्यामुळे भविष्यातल्या पराभवात मी वाटेकरी मंत्री म्हणून राहू नये म्हणून माझ्या पदाचा मी राजीनामा देत आहे ही एका बाजूला कारण कागदावरची आहेत दुसऱ्या बाजूला मी एकंदरीत नऊ एकूण नऊ वर्ष झाली काँग्रेसमध्ये आहे मी पक्षावर नाराज आहे सहा महिन्यात मुख्यमंत्री करतो असं सांगितलं होतं नऊ वर्ष वाट पाहिली आश्वासनाची पूर्ती झाली नाही त्याचबरोबर माझ्यासोबत आलेले आमदार यांना एकालाही मंत्रीपद नाही जे सिटिंग आमदार होते त्यांना तिकीट दिल्या गेल्या नाहीत उमेदवारी दिली गेली नाही त्यांना ना महामंडळाचं अध्यक्षपद ना एम एल सी यावेळेला तर एकालाही मिळाली नाही आणि म्हणून माझ्याबरोबर आलेल्या लोकांना न्याय देऊ शकले नाहीत ही नाराजी आहे द कोणकण स्ट्रॉंग मॅन एक्स्ट्रीमली अँग्री बिकॉज देर हॅज बीन अ चेंज इन लिडरशिप इन महाराष्ट्र डिस्पाईट द डिबॅकल इन द रिसेंट लोकसभा इलेक्शन अँड इज वॉनिंग अनलेस चेंजेस आर ब्रॉट इन द असेंबली इलेक्शन assembly election results will be will be just the same he's also said that the government is not responsive the people in the state are angry while he submitted his resignation to prithviraj chavan his resignation has so far not been accepted rana narayan rane was the industries minister in the prithviraj chavan cabinet he announced last week he will quit but will remain within the party आपला प्रश्न नक्की मला समजला नाही ठामपणे नाही सांगतो होणार म्हणलं उद्गार चिन्ह
आज राजीनामा मंत्रीपदाचा दिलाय पक्षाचा दिलेला नाही या राजीनामा जो मंजूर होईल त्यानंतर माझी भूमिका काय असेल मी दुसऱ्या परिषद पत्रकार परिषद घेऊन जाहीर करेन जर आणि त्याला उत्तर कसं देणार He is taking questions from the media, but what's the thinking within the Congress party leadership? Narayan Rane making it very clear, he is quit as a minister, but not from the party. Headline today is Ashar Ahmed Khan now joins us with the latest. Ashar, what's the Congress's strategy or what are they thinking? How are they, how are they dealing with Narayan Rane? Well, uh, uh, Gaurav, this has to be looked at into a perspective. When the election results came out of the Lok Sabha elections, there were three chief ministers of the Congress ruled states who were under fire. They are uh, Prithviraj Chauhan from Maharashtra, uh, Bhupinder Singh Udda from Haryana and Tarun Gogoi from Assam. Now we've seen that since Ra after Rahul came back, uh, he was abroad, he's made a decision to stick with all these three chief ministers. Now in all of these three states, including Maharashtra where Narayan Rane is uh, hitting out at the Congress party, Hemant Viswas in Assam and Birender Singh in Haryana. In all these three states, there is internal rebellion uh, which is growing within the party. The basic point here is that nothing succeeds like success. These people who were sidelined from uh, the leadership of those uh, current states have now gotten bolstered by the poor performance of their parties in the Lok Sabha election. And that is why they are coming out and attacking the party. The Congress party at the moment has taken a decision to stick with the old guard and that is what it is doing. But yes, the only saving grace in Assam and Maharashtra till now is that both these people, Hemant Biswas and Narayan Rane, have not yet decided to quit the party. They are, they are within the party. And But the problem in Maharashtra is that the elections are just two down the line. Yes. As far as Haryana is concerned, there is a chance that Virendra Singh might shift over to the BJP. Okay, but this is this is in a way an assault on Rahul Gandhi's leadership, whether it's Assam or it's Maharashtra, because Rahul Gandhi's decision to stick with Tarun Gogoi and Prithvira Chavan is being questioned uh, both by uh, you know Himanta Biswal Sarma and by Narayan Rane. Well, absolutely. In fact, since those forty-four seats have come, there is a constant simmer uh, descent which has been simmering under uh, underneath. In fact. Uh, Milan Deora was the first person to speak out and after that he's seen several Congress leaders coming out and openly challenging uh, Rahul's leadership that has been there since the time those results have come out. There is uh, a simmering which is happening beneath the service but the problem which the congressmen uh, face is that they have no other option. Yes. In fact, what we've been seeing to a lot of people, they say that the Congress is in their blood, they can't leave that party but yes, there is... Uh, uh, there is dissidence and there is uh, a feeling of uh, being left out and not being taken along. That is what okay. is hurting the party the most. Okay. For the moment, Ashar Ahmed Khan, many thanks for joining me. Trouble for the central leadership, trouble for state leadership in three states, in, in Haryana, in Assam and in Maharashtra. Let's now take you to Assam where there's major trouble for the Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi. Let's listen into reactions that are coming in from the dissidents. Now, one time blue eyed boy, Himanta Biswa Sarma, a former health minister of the state, it's an open rebellion. Let's listen in to what he has to say. I have been summoned there, I have been called. We have discussed. During that discussion, I found that there was nothing concrete on his mind to revive the party. Somewhat suggestion like that every, there should be a ministry which should be rotating every four months. There should be ministry which should be there only for four months. Then every four months that ministry should be changed. Those kind of strange suggestion was given to me. We considered everything and thereafter I say we have decided that continuing under the Gogoi ministry is not advisable. So I have decided to tender my resignation.